So you're not a threat to this agency? I am not, no. Or the general public? No, sir. Okay, and you're not with any terrorist organization or criminal organization acquiring intelligence against law enforcement officials? Is it illegal to take pictures out in public, sir? That's a yes or no. I'm not answering the question. Okay, well, thank you for your cooperation. On January 31st, 2015, yeah. I was harassed, detained, and patted down by officers from the Orlando Police Department while I was engaged in the First Amendment protected activity of gathering information about what public officials do on public property, and specifically recording matters of public interest. I, I'm not, I have no ill will, no ill intent. I'm just taking photographs. I'm, okay. I'm working on a story, and beyond that, I'd rather not tell you anything else because... Here's the thing. Do you just have some ID so that way I can let people know? I don't know. have any ID, no. Okay. So that way we can at least let them know who you are. Okay. If Sorry, I'm not being detained, you guys have a nice day. Sorry, come here. Am I being detained? Yes, you are right now. Come here. For what reason? Come here. I don't Stop. consent to, sir. I don't I'm consent. Making sure you don't have any weapons, sir. That's all. So I'm being detained for what reason? Walk him aside. Walk. He asked you for an ID. What's your name? and badge number? Uh, Roman 14712. Okay. okay. So I'm being detained. Yes. Don't, don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands uh, on just me. Just don't turn towards me. That's all. You're In May of 2014, the Orlando Police Department issued written directive WD 14 03. The subject of the directive was video recording, photographing, and audio recording of OPD members by the public. The directive was issued to all sworn officers, and the issuing authority was John W. Mina, Chief of Police. The Orlando Police Department, OPD, recognizes that members of the general public have a First Amendment right to video record, photograph, and or audio record OPD members while members are conducting official business or while acting in an official capacity in any public space, unless such recordings interfere with police activity. Members are reminded that photography, including videotaping of places, buildings, structures, and events, are common and lawful activities. If a person is taking photographs or recording from a place where he or she has a right to be, members are reminded that this activity by itself does not necessarily constitute suspicious activity. As long as the photographing or recording takes place in a setting at which the individual has a legal right to be present and does not interfere with the member's safety, Members shall not inform or instruct people that photographing or recording of police officers, police activities, or individuals who are subject to a police accident, such as a Terry stop or an arrest, is not allowed, requires a permit, or requires the member's consent. Additionally, members shall not order that person to cease such activity, demand that person's identification, demand that the person state a reason why he or she is taking photographs or recording, detain that person, Intentionally block or obstruct cameras or recording devices or in any way threaten, intimidate, or otherwise discourage the individual from recording members' enforcement activities. On January 31st, I was also arrested by one of the three officers who had just harassed and detained me minutes earlier. The arrest was for driving my personal vehicle with a disqualified CDL license. Yes, sir. What would you like me to do? Turn around, put your hands in the Okay. Oops, sorry. We be placed under arrest for driving while license suspended with knowledge. You do not have a class C. You have knowledge that you do not have a valid CEO. In March of 2014, Stephen Fielder, Deputy Director of the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, sent a memo to all Florida law enforcement agencies. The topic of the memo was commercial driver's license holders disqualification. Effective today, the department disqualified several thousand commercial driver's license CDL holders for failure to comply with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration self-certification requirements. While disqualifications have existed for many years, due to the implementation of this CDL FMCSA requirement, law enforcement may see an unusually high volume of disqualified drivers on the road. As a reminder, Section 322.0115 Florida Statutes defines a disqualification as being a prohibition other than an out-of-service order that precludes the person from driving a commercial motor vehicle. A disqualification does not impact a holder's driver's privileges related to operation of a non-commercial motor vehicle. Drivers with a medical certification disqualification appearing on their record who are stopped while driving a non-commercial motor vehicle should be encouraged to visit local driver's license offices and either meet the requirements of the certification by submitting the necessary documents or downgrade to a Class E license. 
On February 17, 2015, I was arraigned at the Orange County Courthouse where the court offered to dismiss the charge of driving on a disqualified license if I paid court costs. I refused the offer and instead pled not guilty, setting up a hearing for March 26th. After the arraignment, I returned to the same spot where I was harassed, detained, and arrested in order to film the intro to the, this update video, only to be detained, harassed, and almost arrested again. Okay, today is February 17th, 2015. It's about two weeks since my arrest here at the Orlando, Orlando Police Department. Um, just want to give everybody an update. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Can I help you? No thanks, I'm just taking pictures. Why? Because it's my right to do so out in public. I didn't ask you that, I asked you why. I'm taking pictures, that's all. Do you have ID? I don't have any ID on me. You don't have any ID on you? This time, am I free to go? I am conducting an official investigation. Okay, am I free to go or am I no, free to be in the tank? No, you are not free to go. So I'm being detained. Nope, you're not free to go until I get some answers. So you're or you can walk away. So you're detaining? If you're going to stand here and take pictures, I am going to detain you and find out who you are, ascertain that you're not a threat to this agency. If you're not, then you can go. Sir, I'm not a threat to this agency. I'm not doing anything wrong. Show I'm not committing any crimes. I don't have any ID on me. You don't have anything on you? No. What's your name? So I'm being detained. If I don't give you any identification, will I be arrested? Not unless you're going to arrest me. All right, well then, I'm, I'm, I'm engaged, I'm engaged in constitutionally protected activity, and that's all I need to tell you. All right, what's your name and badge number? I need your name and badge number before you leave, please. Sir, what is your name and badge number? Can I have your name and badge number? Am I being detained? No, but you have a policy that says you're supposed to give citizens name and badge number when requested. Am I being detained? Are you being detained? Do I have the legal authority to detain you? I can take these off if you want. Thank you. Very good. So your name is Officer D. Bradley. About to cause an accident here. And your name again for the record, please. I'm not giving my name. And your purpose here? Uh, taking pictures in public. Any particular reason? Just taking pictures in public, sir. Just taking pictures in public, just gathering information about what public officials do on public property. So you're not a threat to this agency? I am not, no. Or the general public? No, sir. Okay, you're not with any terrorist organization or criminal organization acquiring intelligence against law enforcement officials? Is it illegal to take pictures out in public, sir? That's a yes or no. I'm not answering the question. Okay, well, thank you for your cooperation. You guys got the memo well, about photographers' rights? He would never give me his name and badge number. Can I get his name and badge number? Erwin James Bradley. Do you have an ID number or something? I'll give you one better. All right. See, I'm going to be a good citizen, unlike Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out behind you. Watch out behind you. Okay. Trust me, he's not. All right. I'm going there. If I'm free to go, I'm going. Thank you.